Hi, I'm Simply Shauna, and today I'd like to share with you a very easy Easter chocolate bunny. Um, all you have to start with, it's actually only two balloons, you start with what we call a big bear head and then a 360. Now first I will show you how to inflate the big bear head. The hardest problem for most people learning to use these is learning how to properly inflate them. So you go ahead and pull your balloon down over your pump and you put the nozzle up into one side of the ear or lobe and then you hold that side off and then you push the air over to the other side. It is very important that you don't over inflate any section of the balloon. You go ahead and tie that off so it looks like this. Next, you just need to take your 360 caramel brown and make a full twist and squeeze it a little so that you're getting the arm bent. And some people may prefer the arm straight. I like a nice little bent arm. Then you put in another bubble, pull it up and pinch twist it, followed by another bubble. And you see how I keep that soft, round, and flexible. You go ahead and pinch twist that. And then you go ahead and make, make another fold twist into the arm. And at that point, you gently break the balloon off and go ahead and tie down your other arm. And you can wait to attach this until after you have actually tied this other section of the balloon. I'm going to let a little bit of air out so I have some room for it. Tie it off. And then I'm going to squeeze it and give it a little bit, bit of a stretch so that it's going to be long enough to do what I would like. I'm pulling it out and stretching it a little. Now I can take my big bear head and manipulate some of the air back down to this section so the top part of my head is not overly large. And I can go ahead, I open up the section on the big bear head and between between the two pinch twists. And what I do is I go ahead and push the bubble in, in between, the two pinch twists at the arms in between the bigger bubble and then rotate it a few times to lock it in place. So it would look like this. Next, you can take the remaining piece and you try to put a little pinch twist in the bottom, which would mean pushing the air already back down towards the knot and holding it so it doesn't become too soft and push up towards the top. Next, you go ahead and wrap that down and pinch twist it, and you're going to split that pinch twist right in half to form two small bubbles. Now, you want to find the center of this remaining piece and fold it down. Take the little bit of the tip of the balloon left and wrap it right into the two bubbles. Now you can take those two little bubbles, find your knot at the top of the big bear head, and wrap it gently, securely, and tightly around those bubbles. You adjust your pinch twist, and you have a chocolate bunny. Now you can make any type of face you'd like. The best way to find a good face is to do a Google image search of what chocolate bunnies look like and add a face. I'm going to take a white marker and just do two simple circles right on the bunny. Then because it is very hard to get a nice color on top of darker color balloons, I'm going to put a small nose right in here. I like a little bit of a triangle type nose. And then I'm going to draw in a mouth and some teeth. Again, doing a Google image search for a face is one of the best ways to find a good Easter Bunny face. Mine is a little crooked right now from trying to draw to the side. And once this white has dried a little, can go ahead and take a blue marker and you do want to make sure it is dried otherwise going over the top 
of the white would dampen your marker, I mean, or get paint goo on your marker and it would stop working well for you. Next, I would either take a white, I mean, take a pink or red marker and cover in the nose. And here maybe I can even this nose up a little. Cover in the nose of the rabbit. And now I finish with a black marker. And again, my artwork is not always the best, but I hope this gives you a good idea. Happy Easter.